is the Fisker Karma. It's designed to be the ultimate status symbol. With its sleek lines and powerful engine, it can blast from zero to 60 in under six seconds without burning a single drop of gas. So, how do they do it? The Fisker Karma is a supercar with a difference. That's no gas-guzzling V8 under its hood. This is an electric supercar. The brainchild of Henrik Fisker, designer of the iconic Aston Martin DB9. My real inspiration and when it came uh, to design of this vehicle was really to look into what was it that made us fall in love with cars in the first place. I wanted to show that this vehicle had a lot of power. So it could be a sexy, powerful vehicle. It didn't have to be just a tiny little sort of typical ecological car. Henrik found his clever but simple solution in heavy industry. Locomotives and mining trucks use electric motors to pull enormous loads. In a lightweight sports car, all the torque from the massive motors turns into acceleration. The rear wheel motors supply 408 horsepower, which generates a top speed of 125 miles an hour, with more torque than a Bugatti Veyron. But there's another problem with electric cars. Unless you want a 65 mile extension cord trailing behind you, you'll need batteries and conventional batteries can't carry enough energy for a high-performance vehicle. So in a moment of inspiration, Henrik found some unconventional batteries in his cell phone. Lightweight lithium-ion batteries can let you talk on your cell phone for two hours or more before they need recharging. But if you think this is big, an equivalent ordinary battery would be six times the size, which wouldn't leave much room for little luxuries, like seats. But sooner or later, even the best batteries will run out of power. So they designed the Karma to recharge itself on the move. Or more accurately, when it slows down. It's called regenerative braking. When the brakes are applied, the wheels slow down, but all the energy of the movement is transferred to a flywheel that charges a small generator which feeds the battery. As a result, the Fisker can travel up to 50 miles on a single charge. Okay, Sven, just do one more pass and then come in for a battery temperature check. But then it needs an outlet, and you won't find many of those on a dark desert highway. The Fisker's solution is a small, highly efficient, four-stroke gas engine to recharge the lithium batteries. This allows the Karma to achieve a fuel economy of 100 miles per gallon. But you can't put cutting-edge technology like this into production on the basis of a few drawings. So Henrik's design was carved out of clay to finesse the details. If Henrik's fenders need a slightly different shape, a clay artist can make the modification in a few hours. Once it was sculpted in clay, Fisker crafted the finished car out of lightweight aluminum and composites. In the final model, the driver will be able to switch between two modes. The first mode is stealth drive, which is the quiet economy mode for optimal, relaxed, and efficient driving. With the flip of a switch, the car will change to sports drive, which will access the full power of the vehicle and its top speed of 125 miles per hour. The finished vehicle will set you back a staggering $87,000. But just think of the money you'll save on gas. And while the Karma looks like a sports car, it sure doesn't sound like one. 
even at its top speed of 125 miles an hour, it makes no more noise than a hairdryer. To find out more...